This is a big version of a dual beam infrared spectrometer. Climb up on the rock and let's have a look. The spinning thing is a monochromator, which allows specific wavelengths of infrared light to pass through. I've made the infrared red, otherwise you wouldn't be able to see it. So there's the infrared beam coming through. It goes through a beam splitter. Half of the beam goes to the sample, and the other half goes to the reference. These two beams are then collected in the... Oh, it's gone wrong. Hold on. Dr. Atkinson seems to have made a mistake here. The two beams should be collected and analysed in a detector. Let me just put that back. The detector would then show you which functional groups are present in the organic molecules in the sample, which is the whole point of infrared spectroscopy. If you use a higher energy, let me just switch that off. If you use higher energy rays, such as gamma rays, let me just put my pigeons here, then uh, it's going to have way too much energy and you're going to break the bonds. You're not going to just rotate, translate or vibrate them. So that appears to have been a gamma ray laser. The bonds in the pigeons have been broken. They haven't been rotated, vibrated or translated. But everything else seems to be safe. I'm going to run and hide in this house. This is very dangerous. I'm going to stick with low energy infrared in the future.